We were requested to do a full gameplay, NBA 2K14. What's requested will be granted. Hey, everybody, Chris Smoove on hand. No, I'm not Chris Smoove, but I am a white dude, and in this game there is one, maybe two white skins, two, maybe three white haircuts, and I also play realistically, so if I'm going to put Jordan Dunk animations on, I'm not going to make myself a white dude. I went with my favorite 2K YouTuber and the GOAT of 2K YouTube, Chris Smoove is my mod player. So, I had some comments saying, why are you copying Chris Smoove? I'm not I'm paying homage to him. You ever hear of paying homage? So here we are, NBA 2K14, full gameplay. Don't worry, guys, I'm not going to bother you with my depressive sounding voice. Found the auto. Ah, uh, terrible shot. Trying to draw on that four-point play. I played this game for 10 years. I have like three four-point plays ever on it. So you got to take some bad shots to try and get them. I've had some comments on my game clip saying that was a bad shot. And do that, I respond, but not for me. So here I am on the 18-19 Philadelphia 76ers. Did I play every game to get to this point? No, but I did play a lot of them. I was on the Pacers with pre-foot snap Paul George. But we acquired Dwight Howard. Got bored of it, and I have one final goal on this game. I keep making final goals. I'm supposed to graduate from playing this game, maybe move on from gaming, maybe go get a life again, get a job again. Yes, don't have a full-time job right now, out of college. So you're wondering why I'm playing this game. I got nothing else to do, and I've been spending my time playing it. I decided to post a game clip, and it does 40K, so I'm going to keep posting. If that's all right with you guys, I'm going to keep posting this stuff. This can get 20 views. I don't care. I'm going to keep posting. Uh, I'm the same age as, like, Jesser the Laser, and I'm one thousandth uh, of a YouTuber of them, which stinks, but, you know, I'd love to be in an all-star celebrity game. Do I have the work ethic to do so? No. I don't. Will I end up most likely being an insurance salesman? Yes. Yes, I will. It's unfortunate, but until then, I'll keep playing. I'll keep posting. So here we are. 76ers, uh, this team, I saw a comment about someone saying this team was unplayable. It is unplayable, but you know what happens in 2K14, and I don't know if it happens in the other 2Ks, I haven't played them. Generated rookies that become amazing in this game. So you see my teammate number nine in the top left of your screen, Nelson McGuire. He was a former number one overall pick in this game. Plenty of busts that go number one, too. But this this dude, his tendencies are amazing. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I still play this game, or the tendencies of the teammates. He passes the teammate to shoot the ball. I don't care if he misses the shot. He shoots the ball, and he shoots it three seconds into the shot clock. I mean, we all talk about Steph Curry changing the game. He did. He did, right? But before, this is before, oh, this is before he changed the game. Yet, players, especially the generated players in this game, have Curry-esque shooting tendencies. So I still feel like I'm playing modern basketball. I run pick and roll all the damn time. I kick it out to my shooters all the time. I don't just spam for 70 points. I know I had 70 points in my game, in my viral game clip. But my team was down 29. I had to start chucking, just like that. That's a good shot for me. But I'm going to knock it down. So why do you still play NBA 2K14 in 2023? And before I answer that, I want to say I am very happy that the Xbox feature for time played does not work on this game. Because I know I'm well north of 100. I'm probably closing in on 200. I had friends back in 2016-17 say you play this game too much. That was six, seven years ago. But here I am, I'm still playing it. I played every version of this game. I had a file on the 360, the actual 360 version, where I was on the Clippers. And I got Chris Paul's ass out of there because I'm the point guard. I don't want six foot Chris Paul being shooting guard. Got that man's traded for James Harden and Robert Covington because Robert Covington, I guess I made the file when the servers were still on, so I was an updated roster. James Harden and Robert Covington. 74 overall Robert Covington. He's one of the best shooters in this game. He's not in this roster, but I had him on one, and the dude was 17 points per game. 
I'll never forget. I was back when he was on my sixes in real life as well. So I had me, Harden, Cove, who ended up playing for the Clippers later on, which is funny. <clears throat> Netherlands Noel from Chris Smooth. So I had Cove, then of course Blake and DJ, Manning the middle, Alley Oop City. That file was so fun, and I played like four seasons on it, which you can get more blowouts, you can sub out easier, you just commit one blatant foul, and the coach takes you out in that game, which is nice. So I was cruising, but I said, I can't do this anymore. I, I'm never going to stop playing this, so I retired the file. That's what I've been doing on this game. I play it, and then I realize this file, like, every time my brain wants to do something comfortable, is going to go play this file. So I go and retire it so that I can never play it again. And then I end up making another one. Like, just rinse and repeat ever since this game has come out. Is it unhealthy? A little bit, yeah. But if, hey, if it gets me using a little bit of following, hey. I'll do it. Uh, what else have I done? I played this game with a PC version. I had somebody comment, multiple people commenting actually, about the updated rosters and the cyber faces that you can get for this game on the PC. You know, I have two things to respond to that with. The first was being, you can't do it on career. Um, I know career and my league mode is not that different. Uh, something about having that teammate grade to chase, something about having my stats top right. I really love that and I wanted to do that. I know I can player lock as well. It just never hit the same. So if you try to do it, I try to do a Ben Simmons my career before Ben completely turned to shits. Uh, <laughs> completely turned to crap. Sorry, I'll keep it PG. And if, as soon as the game finishes, uh, the game will crash. So that was never fixed. But what I did like to do on the PC one is use the original roster, but then use something called Alexu Editor, which was a tool for PC. Some of you may be familiar with it, where you could go in and find your player's screen, like really quick, really quick, find your players. I could change my everything on here. I could change what team I'm on. I could change what accessories I have on. I could change what overall I was drafted. You could change just about everything on this game on career. So I had a PC file. What did I do? I had two. I had one on the Knicks where I never lost a game because I made it Tyson Chandler, Josh Smith, Carmelo, J.R. Smith with a raised three-point tendency, and me. And the roster had perfect offense. We didn't lose a dang game. I played like almost two full seasons before I accidentally lost the file and didn't lose a dang game. Um, now, what am I? I had another PC file. How many, how many seasons have I played on this game? Holy cow. Another PC file where I was on the Rockets. Ryan Anderson, me, Dwight, Harden, who was small forward. Very, it was uh, Carlos Delfino at first. That's how old this game is. Carlos Delfino, starting small forward. Played a couple seasons on that back when I was still in college, 2019 or so. Spent some spare time on there. Another time where I said, all right, I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. No. Wasn't done. Uh, <laughs> I was done for a while. Then I came back to the Xbox One or the next gen version because I think it's a bit harder. There's more. The gameplay is almost identical, but there's more like court tilting in this game, making it harder to win. I, I never lost a game in two seasons on one file. I don't think I've ever made it to 70 on this game. Uh, trying to win as much as possible. There's little court tilt things that they throw in and it crap. Makes it, I don't know, like when you have to grind a little harder and try a little harder besides just brainlessly playing, it's, it's fun. It's like shipment on Call of Duty, those that play Call of Duty. People want, love playing shipment because you don't think, you can just play. So I try to run that little inbound slip there and miss it up. Now this game specifically, oh wait, I want to key on the Bucks file I had. So, I used to test to see how late you could get drafted. I didn't, I didn't know if you could get picked second round. I didn't know if you could go 30th. On this game, there's certain teams they just don't let you go. Like, on the next gen, you can't go number one to the Cavs. You can drop 100 points. You're not going number one to the Cavs, the way the storyline works. But you can on the PC slash 360 version. On the PC 
360 version, my first file with no all the actual Xbox 360, no cheats, no mods. I don't think I threw in the rookie showcase, but I threw a little bit into interviews because I was getting interviewed by like the Jazz. I didn't want to do that, so I threw a little bit, and then I went 25th. The same pick as uh, NBA role player Reggie Bullock, Bullock I used to call him, I didn't know his, his name. And that was 25th, 2013, 25th overall to the Clippers. So that ended up being a blessing. You can throw in the, dra in the draft and go like 28th to the Thunder. And everybody knows the Thunder. This is post hard in Thunder, but still Durant, Russ. Russ, if you've ever played this game, you know Russ is... He might be the hardest player to guard in this game, period. He is a joke in this game. Three-pointers, out the wazoo, dunks, out the wazoo. I hope wazoo is not secretly a, a bad word. I don't think so. Um, yeah, Russ is amazing, so you can be out there with Russ. I never, I had a file like that, but I never, I changed my cyber face on PC to James Harden. So I pretended to be like the Thunder if the Harden never got traded, but I want the dang ball in my hands. All right, I like calling the plays. My very first file on this game, which was a 99 shooting guard, I have never deleted the file, even though it's not accessible now because the servers are off. I never give up hope in the servers coming back. I want to run the park again. I wish I still had my clips from park. I forgot to back them up. I would have posted them. I know I had a couple Michael Jordan dunks. I only played Park on this a couple times. But anyway, on that file, I was a 99 shooting guard of the Detroit Pistons. Now, if you're a shooting guard in this game, you can't uh, see the plays on the right. You can't call plays unless you equipped on-court coach. Well, I didn't even know that back then. I didn't even know what on-court... I didn't even know what on-court coach was. But I played... That file was in, like, the 2017 year, and I don't think I ever simulated a game. I was just grinding this game. Um, it was right when I first started loving the NBA and stuff, too, so I wasn't really good at it. Getting six turnovers a game or so. And four full seasons, boom. Four full seasons. No play calling. Just straight pick and roll. Andre Drummond, Al Utes, whatnot. Just loving this Love this damn game. Servers went off. What did I do? I had that Pacer file. I had a Pacers file. Not the one to see me hit the game winner. That was this file. I just requested a trade off. Um, I had an old Pacer file. I had a, the aforementioned Bucks file, which was another file where the team was so dang good. Yes, the tanking Milwaukee Bucks. With a young Giannis Antetokounmpo, I throw a clip in or two. I still have some clips from that file. That team was flawless. Why? Me. I can shoot, do everything. Shooting guard, O.J. Mayo. If you ever played this game, you know O.J. Mayo is a joke. He plays to his potential. Small forward? Who was it? It's been a, it varied over the seasons. I know when I retired the, fi the file, they had just signed Evan Turner. I was like, no, not Evan Turner. Because Evan Turner has pretty poor tendencies in this game. I believe, actually, uh, Chris Middleton got called in the starting lineup. Chris Middleton is in this game, but he's like a 60 overall. But he is, he's, if he's on your team, he's a bucket. He doesn't miss open threes in this game. Young Chris Middleton. Power forward, Irsan Ilyasova. And Irsan, if you don't know, uh, he has a three-point symbol. Floor space from four, which they're rare in this game. And center, Larry Sanders, who... Plays basically like a DeAndre Jordan with prime. Pick and rolls, threes, perfect uh, player efficiency rating. It's perfect, perfect. We got it torched on beef defensively, but. Ah! <laughs> we get torched defensively, but the offense was perfect. Any of the files I had where the offense was perfect, like, my, I would just go back to it all the time instead of, like, doing something else. Like, you're 20, 20, 22, 23 years old. Like, instead of going to the bar, no. I, I just want to run some run some 14. Uh, is it unhealthy? Yeah, a little bit, sure. But I yeah, love basketball. One of the reasons I don't regret playing this game is because 
The only thing I do for money right now is announce semi-professional basketball remotely using this microphone on previously played games for 50 bucks a game. It's been a life dream of mine to be play-by-play -play announcer, but very difficult industry to get into. But how did I kind of, let's say, make my start or know that it was what I would love to do? Well, I got tired of listening to Kevin Harlan and Steve Kerr say the same thing. So I would, uh, oh, oh, oh my goodness, try to follow my own child. I don't think I've ever even done that. Like, see, you can just do crazy crap in this game. But I would be, I would just turn the mic off and start announcing. Like, I would uh, say, oh, you know, Beal knocks down the three, timeout. Like, I would just be sitting here whispering to myself, talking to myself, doing it all, all day. Yup, all day. Uh, and now, and I, it was looked at as delusional for me to be an announcer, but. I am not a paid for announcer. I'm in my first year of it, so I'll take it. All paths lead the right way. One thing I will say, though, I am like 6'3 in real life, so I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I took maybe one hour a day that I spent playing these games. Uh, originally Call of Duty back in the day, the golden days, and then eventually 2K. I wish I spent maybe an hour or two a day just putting up some jumpers, maybe practicing some game action, because... I only played at the church league level in real life, and that's something I regret now, 20, 23, soon to be 24 years old, no going back. All I have now is pick up for the rest of my life, didn't play uh, high school or anything, so that stinks. Definitely could have put the time in, did not put it in on here. Not just 14, but uh, every, yeah, every video game was out in the 2010s, you know, is what it is, and it ended up leading me to my path now of announcing, so I'll take it. Uh, oof, so we're in early, midway through second quarter still. I'm not even paying it. I'm, I'm playing this game on auto autopilot right now. <laughs> so this is my first time ever actually recording while playing this game, but it was requested a full game. I'll give you one. It does 10 views, I don't care. I'll still give you one. And my guy Ben Humphrey right now is turning up for me. So I'll take it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about my current team. So right now, Thaddeus Young, who he can't shoot, but he has good driving tendencies in this game. He's out with something. I just simulated a game and came back. He was injured. So we got Royce White. Comical to me that he's still on the roster in 18-19 in this game. I think he has more games played now for the Sixers than Joel Embiid does in real life on the present day. Let me check it really quick. Uh, funny to me because I, I don't think this guy played more than like 20 games for the Sixers in real life, unless I'm wrong. So, yeah, 420 career games played for Royce White on this game. And Nerlens Noel as well, uh, playing to his potential, being a premier shot blocker and now an all-star in this game. Things we thought would happen in Philadelphia, which did not. Of course, Noel ended up being traded to the Dallas Mavericks back in early 2017. Let's see if Royce can get that deuce he does. Uh, this game coming out in 13, so no Joel Embiid in this game. Not even when he became a rookie later on. They didn't add him in or add it to any capacity. And when 2K15 was out, uh, Joel missed his entire rookie year, so... Maybe if you made a career mode, you would play, but anything else, if you tried to play, play now, you couldn't use Joel. Plus, nobody knew he would be a 30-point-per-game scorer. Look at that. And one, man. Died. Got to blow my nose now. <laughs> I'm not going to cut it. Um, yeah, no one knew Joel was going to be that good anyway, so he was like a 74 overall rookie. Like maybe 77. I don't know. I'm going to blow my nose really quick. Just blew my nose on the mic because I know that 95% of viewers won't make it to this point. But if you do, thank you very much for listening to this absolute ramble. Um, maybe I'll cut it out. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, anyway, let's move on to another reason that I love this game. Uh, and it's the controls. 
the movement, the dribbling, the step backs, the spin moves, the alley oops, the floaters, like the right stick. There's speaking of. Um, I like where you don't have to get a frame perfect shot. I don't know why it's like that in 23. I understand they wanted to add a skill gap, skill window, but if you're not playing on a monitor, or for me right now, I'm playing on Xbox uh, remote play, so I'll have a slight delay. So if I'm not playing on like a perfect monitor, then I'm gonna have a hard time shooting them on 23. And that was the case when I briefly tried to play it. I actually made a WNBA player on 23. Uh, why? Because you can get them higher in overall and badge progression really quickly without spending money. So I'll take that. <laughs> that was dominating on some uh, WNBA park. It's Pavich. Got it. Oh my goodness. I actually have a lot of trouble playing against the Wizards in this game. And anyone who's played this game probably knows what I'm talking about. Because, oh, stupid. John Wall is amazing in this game. It's hard to keep in front of you unless you're playing on a monitor. Brad Beal is amazing in this game. Otto Porter Jr. And really the entire rookie class. They're all really good in this game. Uh, they got some nice generated players to round them out. Tried to use zone on them. Nope. Trouble every time, so... I'm surprised that my team is turning up on the Wizards right now in a game where I'm not fully even focused on the game. I'm just playing on autopilot. Here's something I like to do. I call the pick and roll, and you see McGuire in the corner. I'm going to go McGuire cut the basket, throw it up, and throw it down. And I've done that. I've ran that play on the last few files I've had. I'm not a real, I'm not a real play. I, it's, uh, it's like calling an audible on Madden. Because there's Brad. Missing the three. Let's throw one up again. Nope. Nelson ran to the corner. I thought he was gonna he was gonna collect that. Yeah, I thought he was gonna cut into that alley. Uh oh. Speaking of that, oh Guess we got an injury on the court. Otto Porter getting hurt. Let's check out what that was. Sad to see if he's out for Alright. So Otto Porter just got a concussion on a wide open jumper. Uh, I can't show the replay of it, sadly. Wide open jumper. Otto slipped on a wet spot on the floor. Came down, hit his head hard, and he's concussed. He'll be out for a few weeks. As we are now at the half. And let me skip through this before I get copyrighted for uh, Kendrick Lamar's Now or Never track. The old 2Ks. Random, but the old 2Ks, their soundtracks, they, they hit hard. I'm sure there's some songs on the current 2Ks that are all right, really pretty good, but something about the 13 and 14 soundtrack, and even 15, I, I, I don't know, man, the golden era. I feel like the golden era of Call of Duty, which was, if you will, I, you know, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 2009, um, Black Ops 1, it's like a fadeaway there, I like it. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. Um, mostly the last four there. I feel like the golden era ended the day Call of Duty Ghost came out. And guess what game came out a number of weeks after Call of Duty Ghost? This one, man. 2K, this is not the best complete 2K. The online was flawed, the park was flawed, the gameplay is cheesy, um, very, very cheesy on my team, whatnot. Um, but sheesh, the, this, the run of after this game, 15, 14 really included, 14, 15, 16, and I guess 17 would be your last really golden uh, 2K. I didn't think it was that golden, but got a hell of a lot of playing time on that game as well, so I'm going to kind of throw it in there. So then after that, I did been in a dark place really since I, I didn't hop on no Fortnite. It was, I was trying to get a life in real life after that so now that uh, I don't have a life in real life right now going back to what I love which is these old 2Ks yeah um, and it, the game still game still holds up man. game still holds up 
these generated players that come in to the league, they have all like 100 shooting penalty. And that makes this game hold up even more. Like, look at that. Catch, shoot, bang. We're a few seconds into the shot clock. You know, we're not holding it down. We're not posting up anybody. We're playing pick and roll, isolation, modern day basketball. Give me that. Yeah, is it realistic? No. <laughs> There's not like the help defense there should be. Let me hit that. Boom! Love that step back, man. I'm trying to get a game winner with that step back. I did get one, but I didn't record the clip. So I don't have the clip to post. I've been posting my old, just dumping out my clips ever since that one went big. Because I know my channel's getting viewership, so might as well. Might as well do that. Uh, wow, yeah. This game, um, just talking about it, knowing I'm going to post it, it's like... Give me the chills, man. Like when you're building a brand, when you're trying to build a channel, you gotta you gotta find your niche. And my friend, like I said earlier, my friend's been telling me like this game is my niche. But did I think to put up a game clip and, and do 40k views on it? Heck no. Heck no. I titled it well. I hit a crazy shot. <laughs> Probably not too crazy to a lot of people, but for me that. That was the best play I ever got on this game, hands down. Especially the full game. I wish I had that full game recorded. That was an incredible, incredible game. And I was in it. I was in the moment. I was like calling the action, focusing in. I actually was like self announcing on that game winner. I forget what I said, but I just remember saying like, Fades for the win! Oh! <laughs> when, he, uh, when he hit it. I got some comments saying, like, oh, why did he not pass the gear? Why did he not pass it? Because I've already done all that before. And now I'm starting to go for the stuff I haven't gone for before. Like, when you've already done everything there is to do, you got to find other other crap to do. So I went for that for that fade, and I splacked it over two. I knew one of the things I was trying to do was, like, spin out of double teams and, like, escape double teams on this game. And maybe, like, do a behind-the-back to split the double team. Uh, in that case, I knew I, I was going to spin away from it. I thought it would clank, but I was like, the game's tied. Oh, my. I was like, the game is tied. Uh, I'll either send it to overtime or I'll hit a crazy, crazy-ass shot. So that's what, I, that's what I did on that. That was really cool. That was my last chip with the Pacers. I played the following season, but the team was... We had uh, good stars, but depleted bench and we ended up losing to this team the Sixers who had Carmelo Anthony for one year and then he dipped for the heat I don't know why so random the free agency stuff in this game uh, yet uh, so that freed up the spot for me Celtics traded me over for like Tony Roten in two seconds I don't know why <laughs> they did that <laughs> And when I got traded to the Celtics from the Pacers, I thought they would have traded for, like, Rondo and three first-rounders, something you'd see in, like, real life. But, no, they traded me for a role player and, like, a few second-rounders. Or a role player, a first, and a second. That's what it was. But, so, unrealistic on that. And also the fact that they're trading me. Oh, crap. Bad release because I'm playing on the remote play. Um, they traded me to a conference, like, rival. Both times, Pacers to the Celtics and then uh, Celtics to the Sixers. Uh, they didn't send me back out west. Cheesy, but we'll take it. Now uh, I get to be on a Sixer team that has cheesy players for once. Uh, I love to be like love the Sixers in real life. My favorite team in real life, but they're uh, pretty Dukington in this game. If you don't have uh, pretty Dukington on the default roster, put it that way. Now, oops, I accidentally kicked one out the Royce. Nelson floats it up and missed it. Yeah, the teammate tendencies in this game, I don't know why, but from everything I've seen, they're, they're just better. There's so much better, like, cover. Uh, I feel like when I was watching Chris move gameplays on the later 2Ks on career, all it was either he was putting up 60 a game, or like he'd get assists every game, but they'd all be leak out dunks like that. Nothing in the half court, whereas this game, I can dial up a play in the half court or even 
my coach will automatically call one. Here I'll use a 2K smart play holding a LB or L1. And I'll see my teammate actually tries to create some space, pulls it back for a sort of crappy three, but like they're actually shooting. And in the 2Ks of now, he would have passed it right back to me on that. And then I'm deep in the shot clock with a crappy offense possession. That's why this game has had infinite replay value for me. The teammates actually do stuff. I call ISO here, McGuire, and, you know, he'll miss it, but I'd rather have people actually shooting the ball. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, I remember 2K16, the 76ers roster on that game. They put Ben Simmons at the small forward. So this is when he was out before he ever played his rookie season. They put that man at small forward. Ben Simmons? Small forward? Floor spacing? Non-existent. So that, that was crap. Now Ben is gone. It was, well, yeah, he's gone in real life. Obviously not in 14, but... Um, still have MCW. For those who know Michael Carter-Williams, the 76 and Rookie of the Year. Let's see if I can do something cool here. Throw it up. Oh! Ah! No assist for it, but... <laughs> Just smoking them, man. Uh, I love the pacing in this game. Like, no weight. Like, Wall's gonna go right at me. Like, no. He missed it. I'm shocked he missed that. Nerlens is getting on it. Let me see if I can get Nerlens right here. Ready? Go, Nerlens. Oh. <laughs> uh, wow. And, uh, I think I already touched on it, but. Not really. I touched I touched on how 2K23 you had to pay money. This game, if you're unaware, ever since the servers have been off, particularly, you can do a glitch, like 25 minutes into making a file and max out and play. And in this game, there's no crappy archetypes, and there's no crappy, oh, you gotta have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, and then all of a sudden you turn into a sniper when you have like a 60 three-point shot. <laughs> which is something we've seen. We've seen those, everyone knows those lockdown defender small forward builds from the last number of 2Ks that could clamp guard one through five and then hit the quarter threes every time if the point guard had Hall of Fame diamonds. Not all, no. You, this game, you just make a player, you make them a superstar, an ISO superstar that can still play defense, they can shoot, they can dunk, they can pass, defend, yeah, just like, you know, steal, block, Hey, is it a little un unrealistic? Yeah. But you want to be a GOAT when you make a career in this game. You don't want to be a role player. Like, I feel like the 2Ks now, every all the players, they all can do those things, but their attributes don't say so. They do it because they get the badges and yada, yada, yada. It's just baloney to me. I don't want to pay all that money. I don't want to play on rookie and spam three-pointers for five hours to get. Like, no. And it's a lot more than five hours, by the way. I'm just done with the way 2K changes stuff to try and make the game not the same game. I think 2K should move into a free-to-play game and they keep the same game out for, like, 10 years. I know. And then just update the game. Uh, it seems like a better option for 2K at this point to keep putting out the same garbage. Super huge files super huge game file because of like the Tracy McGrady, J. Cole story mode. Like, I'm not trying to be a dang rookie every single year. I'm trying to be like what, what's good with a career of like a 28 year old that's dealing with uh, contracts and free agency and, and stuff. But that's not going to happen if every single year you got to restart and be a, a rookie undrafted rookie playing on the playground again. I'm tired of that. You know? Because uh Allen Iverson's number three, not retired yet when this game came out. It was retired in March 2014. So you see Max Chapman, who was the starting point guard that shredded me in the playoffs. He never plays because I take his minutes now. Throwing that baby down. That was 85-108. Uh, so I'm going to try to put this game out of reach as we move forward. And yeah, I had to blow my nose earlier. It's stuffed up. Allergies, maybe mini cold. Don't know. Is what it is. Uh, not going to talk too much about the IRL issue, but 
allergy breathing issues have been killer for me in real life for the last year or so. You never realize how important breathing is until you can't do it that great. Until you got allergic asthma. And not only does your breathing go bad, but your mental health. Because you're just not getting that oxygen to the brain. It stinks. I'm dealing with that issue for a little while now. Coming out of college. Graduated college December 18th, 2021. Um, have I tried hard enough to get a uh, full time business related job? No. Nope. Or have I still tried? Yes. I'm like 0 for 5, I want to say, in interviews. Of course, been dragging my feet. Nobody wants to. Uh, nobody wants to go to work. Yeah, everybody wants to be. Everybody wants to be a Jess or the laser cash nasty out here, but it takes work. So, will I ever be on that path? Eh, maybe not. Do I want to go to an NBA game and have a bunch of kids come up and take pictures? Would it be nice? Yeah, but is fame all worth it? I don't know. Now, if I was became an announcer, it's like. You get that little bit of clout where maybe one guy will recognize you. Oh, are you the guy from the... Uh, yeah, no, but it's not like uh, Kanye West where you leave your house and you can't even go to... can't go to the gas station or whatnot or you have people following you around snapping pictures of you, trying to get pictures of you, trying to get your autographs, but that would stink. Let me hit that for the vid. Ah. <laughs> End of the third... 11091, thank you for joining me. I'm 37 minutes into this bad boy. This game is not out of reach yet. So I'm gonna try and get it out of reach and then I'm gonna wrap things up here. There's MCW. MCW's cheesed on this file. He's supposed to be 6'5 or something, 6'6, six, six, but he's 6 foot 0. Oh. I don't know what happened there. There's a glitch on this game. Some of you may have seen it before. It happens with uh Jazz rookie Trey Burke, who's a one-time sixer. Um, for some reason, the rookie all-star break on some file... I'm not sure the actual reason for it. I think it's like if you participate in the slam dunk contest or something. Trey Burke transforms into being six foot seven, And that's cheesy. Because <laughs> he keeps all the same dribbling packages. He keeps the same crazy outside jumper that he's got. And then he, he turned into six foot seven instead of being six foot up. That is difficult to guard. Doesn't happen every time though. Not sure. A lot of random glitches. I'm still trying to find more. Uh, I've been trying to find a glitch to get on a file that's turned off. Like, yeah. I'm just sat there mashing A on the screen. I'm trying a lot. Uh, it's not possible. I, I, I'd, I'd love for it to. I'd love to get back on that. 99 shooting guard One more time, but love for 2k to turn on the servers for like two weeks like a little 2k Anniversary thing where they like let everyone play the old 2ks again. I would have a dang ball On that and I'm sure I wouldn't be the only one but they're never doing that so uh, The PC version what was about to say about it Hard to play. I'm not trying to choke this lead here, you know? Uh, <laughs> so the one thing holding this game back for me, like, I would make a whole series of this game. I would. But what it means is updated rosters on this version. The only game that has the updated rosters is the old gen version. So it gets pretty boring playing with the 13-14 uh, NBA roster. It certainly does. Now, the generated players make up for it, but, you know, I mean, I'm out here with Royce White. I'm out here with Michael Carter-Williams. I'm out here with Nerland's Noel. Nerland's still in the league, but barely. I think he's on his way out. Sad to see, but, yeah, that's what's holding this game back from uh, permanent playability. And still will happen for me. I just... I'm about to be 24. I, I know I gotta. I can't do this. Can't do this shit till I'm 30. I know that. But every time I've got just nothing, and I just need a little, little bit of that easy dopamine. This is where I've been going lately. As I uh, 
try to figure out what I want to do with myself. I applied a few times NBA headquarters into caucus. I now look at that as delusional. But I compared myself to some of the other employees and like, dang, I thought I might have had a chance. Graduated at the top of my class. Had the relevant education. No. Maybe I live like an hour out. I'm closer to Philadelphia. Philadelphia is actually pretty, pretty stinking close to New York. Crazy to think of, especially with all the uh, baloney going on right now. Like, I'm out here thinking about like, ooh, if the tactical nuke gets blown up there, will I survive from here? Like, <laughs> pretty, pretty bad stuff to be thinking about. But yeah, pretty close. So I was thinking like, hey, the job I really wanted was to be uh, in the film archive. Uh, if you don't know, my first few videos or my if you check the videos I public now, I actually have like 70 videos, but a lot of them were from when I was a kid, so I took them down. But my few recent videos were about Will Chamberlain. They were doing really well, but Mans has no footage on his career available. I wasn't going to recycle the same footage, even though I probably could have got to like 10k subs doing that. It just, I want more, like I want to see more. And I don't want to keep taking other people's work, which is what I was also doing. Like these guys that were compiling these compilations, I was screen recording the compilation and commentate over it. Which I mean, they don't own the footage either, but it's just something about it felt wrong. Um, so I wanted to get into the film vault to see like they had some jobs of, like transferring film. If you guys didn't know, the NBA has like a nuclear bunker. Uh, or a former nuclear bunker, speaking of nukes, that they store all these old film footage in. And in the middle of the night, they have people transport the footage when it's needed to NBA headquarters. That right, That is like, and you know if you have that job, you can probably get in, watch them, go back, watch some old, like, want to go back, watch some old Moses Malone or something, like, watch some old Julius Irving Sixers, like, they don't put that out there, that much footage from those days out there, sadly. Good amount, but not not what they could. I know a lot of it's available. I know not all of it's available, particularly anything before like 1975, 6. I know that's not available. The film just uh, destroys itself after it's so long, being in storage. So I know they're having, they're in the process of like digitally restoring a lot of that. And I wanted to get involved in that in an entry level way. Didn't happen. Unfortunately, it did not happen. So now I'm scouring, looking for normal people jobs, uh, commentating here and there. The game becomes available, they let me do it. I spend a day scouring Facebook, scouring all the information I can get on this league where they don't update all the stats, whatnot, and I try to find anything I can about these semi professional players. I post it up once I'm done. I uh, post that on the Triangle by 1891 YouTube channel. And keep clicking videos till you see my voice. I actually have a playlist on my channel called Broadcast Samples VP. Whoops. So whenever I apply to another, well, I've done it a couple of times, apply to another semi-professional team or college team, I attach that it's a bit of a portfolio resume. Hoping I can potentially land a announcing job with a more stable, uh, more secured, maybe even more high paying company. I would say the dream right now would be to land like a 20, 30 a year announcing job, whether that be for a college or a low channel, because like, I made like a grand last year, total, like total. I was living off the, living off the trust funds, living off that, uh, living off that quote unquote bat mitzvah money. <laughs> and I'm out. I need something, and I don't want to go to work. I don't. I have to. I don't want to. But so that's why I'm saying, like, give me a low paying announcing job. I would grind that out. I'll grind that out for ten years if I could get a three hundred thousand one after. Like, but I'm not there to collect the bag. But you do need the bag to get by. But you got the whole family trying to make you take these other jobs as for the benefits and whatnot. You gotta fight through, try and do what you want. 
And when you don't know, if you don't have anything you want, it's like, sheesh, what the heck am I going to do out here? You got to go out there and uh, just have some fun with your time, your limited time. We're all uh, here for some crazy, some really crazy one in a billion million ways. So we got to try and live it up to the best of our ability. Is playing this game for 100 days the best of the ability? No. But I got some practice in being an announcer. I learned a dump load about the NBA just by playing this game and the other 2Ks after. So I regret it that much? No. Was it a waste of time? Maybe a little bit, yeah. But hey, I still get my fix. Another step back triple. I, I get my fix here and there of uh, yelling out, having a good time. So you know, I get my fix of playing, playing games. So I'm happy. I know there are millions of millions, billions of people less fortunate than me going through a lot more hardship than I have to go through. So I try not to feel too sorry for myself. Uh, I just try to get better. Yeah, getting all, getting deep. As we put this up, I'm going to try to commit a blatant foul here to see if we take the stars out. We're blowing these guys out, man. Yep. You see the bench set up. So the benches are in. And this is what I do when I get a blowout. Because every minute, every minute in life counts, right? <laughs> every minute in life counts. So we're coming up on 40, 47 of the recording so. I ain't got that Troid in PC, so I'm gonna have to uh, wrap this bad boy up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Any if one singular M ever listened to that entire ramble, I thank you. I thank you a lot. Especially after that nose blow and everything. I, I thank you very much. I'm uh I'm no uh I'm no goat commentator. I'm still using hella filler words. Hella likes, hella ums, hella yada yadas. Super rambly. Trying to get better with the commentary, the game commentary for sure. Like the announcing helped me out, but I'm still ways to go. I'm still hours and hours of reps to go. Until I get to be uh, Troy Dan esque with the long plays. So, now for any further at you, I'm going to foul out, wrap this gameplay up. I have one request for anybody out there in the world of modding. Let's get this game, let's get this next gen update out. Let's get these rosters out. Let's give this game another 10 years of life. I know y'all do it on PC. I'm, I need to see it on here. And if any single one of you wants to see me do this, maybe uh, cut it up Chris Smooth style, maybe shorten it down to 10 minutes or so. Not instead of the full gameplays. I'll do it. I'll, I'll make it my niche. I will, because the Chamberlain niche sort of fell through. The lack of footage, lack of work ethic. I'm still looking for that niche, so. Appreciate. Appreciate y'all. Really do. <laughs> Hit that loose. All right, ladies and gentlemen, or 99.2% gentlemen, that'll do it. 76ers win this one, 142-122, taking out the Washington Wizards. VP 102, Paulino, show you the box score, and then I'm out of here. Nelson McGuire, 43, Narlon's Noel, 37, Chris Smoove, 23 and 24, and three turnovers. Shot the ball like crap, but only three turnovers. Royce White did his thing. And we win it. Thank you for watching, folks. Oh, wait. Let me prove. Let me prove I'm on Hall of Fame. Right here. Difficulty bonus X2. Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching. Bye.